And what is in store for Mr Shakespeare in the third Nativity adventure? Well, I think it's fair to say he gets to dance. And um, for those of you who love uh, the two previous films, uh, Mr Shakespeare does a fair amount of dancing there, but I do even more, I suppose. That's because it's about a flash mob uh, for, uh, dance kind of uh, competition. So um, I get to do more of that. I think Nativity has done so well because I think audiences love it, uh, families love it, uh, and I think the magic ingredients are mainly the children, uh, and me obviously, but uh, essentially the children, the interaction between the, the adult actors and the kids, and I think there's a warmth to that which audiences have enjoyed, and a, a kind of sentimentality that isn't too sort of cloying, it's because it's coming from the children and the innocence of the children. I think because it's unscripted also, you get caught by some of the things they say, the humour that comes out of that, and sometimes the real feeling of it as well. Uh, well, my daughter's in this. I, I, I brought her in to be um, in my class for a couple of days, and so I was trying to concentrate on a particularly difficult dance routine, which we just decided to do um, at the last minute. And so while I was concentrating on that and dancing, I was also parenting a very, very tired, hungry seven-year-old. So that was quite interesting. Of course, talking about big kids, uh, Mr Poppy is in many ways the heart of the Nativity franchise. Can you talk about working with Mark? Because obviously your characters kind of square off against each other. Yeah, we're kind of, we are rivals. Uh, he's great, Mark. He's one of our best improvising actors and he's incredibly creative all the time, constantly on set. And uh, it's a joy every time to work with him. So, uh, I mean, I want to do other stuff. As, I'd love to do other stuff as well outside of the franchise. But he's, you know, he is Mr. Poppy again in all his glory. So, yeah. And I think he gets, he gets to do a lot more in this movie as well. So. Is there a particular Christmas message that you think big and small kids alike are going to take away from this particular nativity adventure? Yeah, apart from respect your parents and your dad's always right. Um, I suppose <laughs> just be nice to your friends, I think. I'm, at the moment I'm fil filming The Hollow Crown, which is the uh, BBC Shakespeare with Benedict Cumberbatch as Richard III and uh, loads of great people, Judy Dench, etc. So I'm filming that and then uh, in, uh, in December I've got a, a drama coming out on ITV called The Lost Honour of Christopher Jeffries, which is a completely different part to uh, Mr Shakespeare, so yeah. I mean, obviously there's a lot of excitement about seeing someone like Benedict uh, doing this kind of a role. What's, what, what do you think we can expect from particularly his performance in The Hollow Crown? A hump. A hump. You can expect a hump. Uh, I think the joy of those particular uh, uh, films are it's very natural because it's the camera's very close. You can underplay, and it's a very immediate uh, relationship that you have with your audience. And I think that uh, uh, Benedict probably exemplifies that better than most of us. Who do you play in that? Where do you fit into the holocaust? I'm the Earl of Suffolk. I'm dead actually before he arrives, but um, yeah.